but it's a town of about three to 4,000 in the Sierra Nevada mountains, and there's 500 kids who go to school there. The, the, the football field's next to a rodeo. Yeah. And, uh, so you can fly into Reno and you drive 90 miles, 40 of which are no cell service. Uh, yeah, road. A big old chunk of ice came off, hit my car like a rock, tore the undercarriage off. Um, it was going to be about seven hours before they could get a tow truck out to me. So I just put, I didn't have a coat, I put every pullover in my suitcase on and <laughs> walked to uh, to a little log cabin gas station. Bought some Dinty more suit off the shelf that I, I think was probably about 15 years old. And, put, and uh, got some bungee cords and tied it up to the tied it up into the, the engine and, and kept rolling uh, through the mountains to, to get to Bond to see the banquet. So, Is it worth uh, it? He better be. Our <laughs> <laughs> coach Jones was talking about the the value they place. You place on competitiveness and trying to evaluate these guys. Uh, looking back on your recruiting experiences. Cases where you've been maybe wrong about how competitive a guy is. And sure. just, how hard is it to to really put a grade on that? Yeah, it's extremely hard. Just like Coach said, you got to see him every facet. You got to go to practice. Um, you got to go to basketball practice. You got to talk to people in the school. Uh, teammates, are they captains? Usually, yeah, a captain of the team is a pretty competitive guy. Just things in that nature. And the more you build a relationship with the kid, like uh, Josh Malone, I mean, he's a great example. I bring him up all the time. He, he just, he will not stop pestering me about playing cornhole. He says he's going to beat me sideways, silly. Just little things like that, competitive as all get out. Yesterday, our receiver meeting almost broke out into a fight over uh, over uh, spike ball, this new game that these guys are playing. I mean, just that, and that's what I want. I want that. that that's great. Who's faster? Well, I beat you in the bench yesterday, and all of a sudden, it, it we got the right guys. So yeah, if you get a guy that's not competitive, they, they go to the back pretty quick. So luckily, I think we've done a good job so far. So, good. so really, the competitiveness will, is already going on already we with them this offseason. Yeah, absolutely. They're competing their butt off and everything they do in the weight room. I can hear them talking about it. You know, I bench more than you. I ran the, the 20 yard faster than you. And the, no, you didn't. And let's go out right now. And that's what I want. We didn't have that a whole lot last year. We only had a little bit of it. Great teams have that all the time. You can't shut them up because they're so competitive. You know, we get to one-on-ones last season and it was quiet. I have a feeling it's going to be a little bit louder this year. So it's going to be fun. Zach, I'm sure you've talked a lot about Josh. Just how are you to get out in spring and start molding those guys? I can't wait. You know, and, and I'll tell you, Josh, uh, our, our receiver core, uh, there's eight individuals not in our room from last spring. There was eight individuals from our spring roster last year and they're not in the room this year. Which is, which is crazy. We've rehauled that whole room, uh, got the guys, competitive guys, the guys we want to fit in that room skill set wise, and they've opened their arms to Bond and Josh and, and Vic now. Uh, I think Mark Martin and Josh are pretty much inseparable right now. They do everything together. Yeah. That's neat to see that, that Bond going on already. So I'm really excited to get out with all those guys. Continue Marquez's development, um, Josh's development, Kroon is coming along, Josh Smith. I mean, there's a lot of talent in that room that, that needs to be developed. I, I've never been more excited to get out. Bond yeah, question. Certainly, certainly you see more. Last one, please. Got to leave. It's a mold there with Josh and Bond. Absolutely. I mean, just, just raw talent. I mean, Josh, Josh brings a, uh, he's got a very high ceiling. There might be more receivers that were, you know, recruited that were ranked higher and you know, whatever. Um, but, you know, you go out and you watch him, you're like, I don't know how much better he can get. He's a good player now. You know, where I think Josh was a good player, but his ceiling is very, very high. Now I just got to go coach him. Uh, Vaughn is very productive. I mean, caught more balls than anyone in junior college. Uh, so he brings an experience standpoint right now to us. Um, but uh, I've watched him out there already do some things, and he's, he's as raw as he gets. He's a lot of polish. So, thank you, Coach. Thanks.